I literally went from 250 monthly listeners on Spotify to 34,000 monthly listeners, and I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. I think we really underestimate the power of social media. You have to use social media as a tool. I know we consume it a lot, but you can actually get behind the camera and create the content that people can't consume. So the best thing I could have done in 2020 was get on TikTok because it put me in front of a brand new audience, people who've never heard of me, never seen me, have never seen anything I've ever done. It just gave me an open, clean slate. And so from doing that, I started posting vibes and people really resonated with the vibe so much so where they demanded my remix of Earth, Wind & Fire song, Can't High Love. That's Hunter. to be commercially released. They literally demanded it. I love to use DistroKid and shout out to DistroKid. They are responsible for getting my music on Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, you name it. You name it! So with the Musician Plus plan, which is what I'm on right now, you can select your own release date and have it available right away. But I was able to do this cover of Can't Hide Love and that literally went viral. It changed my life and that literally was a direct direct result from posting on TikTok. So from there, I was able to get everybody from TikTok to my Spotify and vice versa for Instagram to my Spotify page. So I was able to put the link in my bio. A lot of people came over to my Spotify and that's when I jumped from 250 monthly listeners to 9,000 monthly listeners, like almost overnight. So I basically did the wash, rinse, repeat. So I just kept posting vibes and see, you know, how people resonated with them. Them. certain vibes caught on really fast and some took some time but I was able to evaluate based on the engagement of the content okay like this will be a good release and then I started shifting my focus towards instead of just it being about a me thing why not post vibes for people to use in their video so I started hammering down on instrumentals and in instrumental chill vibes because it will paint a picture for people to be able to use it in their TikToks and their reels I I've had like multiple vibes go viral, like literally like baseline views at 100,000 views. Now DistroKid is super dope because I can split revenue with people who I work with. So for example, my single Vintage Chill Vibes featuring my homegirl Anna. That's Anna. I am splitting revenue with her on the back end of this DistroKid release. So all you have to do to set up your splits is go to distrokid.com, go to that specific release, go ahead and go to splits, and then you can select the percentage of what they're gonna get. And then you go ahead and send them an email. Now, if that person has a DistroKid account already, they will go ahead and receive a confirmation code and all they have to do is copy and paste that code into their account and boom, just like that, they are invited into receiving splits and that's all there is to it. And I also have a phenomenal link for you guys to use. If you decide to sign up for DistroKid, you could get 7% off your first year's membership by using my custom code in the description of this video. Once again, DistroKid, thank you for sponsoring this video and being such a phenomenal aggregate for getting my music out there. Really appreciate it. It's been a phenomenal experience. And so so from doing that, it went from 9,000 monthly listeners to 11,000 monthly listeners. Then I checked again and it was 15,000 monthly listeners. And here we are today, October the 4th, 2022. I am at 34,015 monthly listeners on Spotify and we are continually growing. I would highly encourage everyone to literally, you know, reframe how you use social media and, and use it as a tool because you don't just have to consume it. Again, you can post content around your songs so what I've noticed is once you get into the Spotify algorithm and the algorithm picks up that it's a lot of people coming in fast. I noticed that I started getting on playlists. People started sharing my music on their own private playlist. People said, yo, I'm going to put you on my midnight run playlist or my chill vibes playlist or whatever. And so from them doing that, it just runs the streams up. So for example, my Can't High Love remix that I mentioned, that's at 169,000 streams. And then my 
my R&B chill vibes, which has recently taken off. But now that's at 92,000 streams. Feeling good, got placed on some playlists. So here's where I've been discovered. Low bop jazz, Instagram reels, trends, coding, chill vibes, coffee music, lo-fi instrumentals. We can see that this has 6,401 likes and 127 songs. So here we go. So it's at number 95, uh, R&B chill vibes and can't high love. And so here's the uh, low bop jazz hip hop. Uh, this has 9,507 likes. And so here we go. We have chill tape volume one feeling good. So that ran some streams up that was updated a couple days ago. So this has all been done organically. I didn't send my music to anybody. I didn't pay to promote any of my posts. All of this has just been done organically. So I just want this video to encourage you that, hey, you know, you can literally pick up your phone and start posting content around your music and get creative around your songs and what specifically you honestly want from social media. So I use social media not only for my streams, but for my revenue, my sales, and, and of course my YouTube channel, leading people to my website to you know check out my mixing templates or my sound packs. I have 808s and loops and you know R&B vocal chains and gospel vocal chains, all available. I have the link in the description for all that stuff, including my Spotify account. And you can literally leverage social media to be able to promote your music, promote your brand, and ultimately create a community around what you're doing. And because I have such a phenomenal community, the community is responsible for the growth in the Spotify plays. It's the people that are making these videos go viral. So you don't have to worry about gatekeepers anymore like back in the day in terms of reach. Your followers, or what I love to say is your community are your new gatekeepers. And if your community gets with it, then there's literally like limitless possibilities for you. So, hey guys, if you got any value out of this video, check it out. Give your boy a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything. And if you guys are looking for some more tips on how to make money as a musician or as a producer, I got another video fired up for you right over here.